So recently I have really been into the red deer hunting here in Hunter Call of the Wild and I've been just hunting them a lot here in Hirschfelden and all the while I've been refining my tactics for how I'm doing it and trying to be as efficient as possible with how many I bring down and just getting the spawn cycle. So we're going to head to this lake right here. I would be shocked if we don't have any there and then we're going to talk about just how I'm doing it. So we do have a stag hanging out down here along with some bison and that's actually a really solid six. He might just crack a gold but basically the strategy that I have is to kind of walk a certain route along these lakes that tends to produce red deer stags at all of the lakes and actually a couple of spots in between as well. And I'll try to show all those and then the method that I'm using for clearing the hunting pressure to kind of just cycle this over and over is geese hunting. So we'll do a, probably a quick geese hunt at the end, uh, try to knock out a couple of geese and get the hunting pressure cleared. But for now, we do have a red stag to try to take out. So we'll get the seven mil. We're zeroed for 75 and he is just right here. So we'll just go for this. And that was about the weirdest death animation I've seen, but he is down. And one thing that's very important, guys, if you don't know about this already, never get tier 3 hunting pressure in your zones. Those zones are your best friends, and tier 3 hunting pressure can delete them, so you really don't want to be doing that. Not quite a gold on this guy, just a 769, but a decent little start for our hunt here. So that lake is here in Jonsdorf, or however you pronounce that. We're going to move, you can kind of see my hunting pressure, up to this lake. And generally, there's you can see these uh, eating zones here, the feed zones. Generally, we get at least one red deer. Often it's right here, so we're going to go up through that way. Holy. Well, there's my red deer herd, but I'm going to die. What did I do? <laughs> Guess I got to run back there now, but... Uh, there were no red deer at my feed zone. I just... What happened? <laughs> so uh, I just continued on, went to that lake, made a poor decision on what timing to jump, and uh, at least I got a bird's eye view of the red deer. So let's just not jump this time. I do want to go back though and watch where I was when I jumped because that could maybe be the best challenge ever trying to hit a red deer from like miles up in the sky. Looks like they did hang around though and that is either a seven or an eight. It is a seven. So our first actual gold and we're closing in on the 150 mark from him. So we'll just take our shot, I think from here and hopefully avoid any kind of ridiculous flying again. I'll actually let him pick his head up and then go to drink again just so I don't miss time or anything. Although I should have just shot him there. He stayed down plenty long enough. I'd love to get him spotted though, that would help with things, but not really happening. But, he is down, over there. This whole area does weird things, obviously you saw me flying, and as if you couldn't tell, that's not where I shot him, he was like down here, so he kind of teleported a little bit. But no other males here, and the weirdest thing about this little lake right here, this is the second lake I visited, it's this one uh, up here. That drinking zone, you can see in the bottom right, that's a roe deer zone. But there are always red deer here. It's usually a herd of like 30 like we have here. And I can spot them as many times as I want. It says they're drinking. I don't get a zone for it. I have no idea how that works. You can see all these uh, drinking zone tracks from them. If I pick them up, it's not going to give me a zone. It doesn't replace the roe deer zone that's here. I really don't get it. But either way, we do have our first gold, just barely an 804 on him, but... He really, I thought it was bigger than that. Either way, we will take it and head on to the next spot. So what I usually do from here is actually loop around and go to this lake. And there they go down the mountainside. But this has been a somewhat low spawn in terms of red deer males. I've had times where I'm running over here and shooting males running down this hillside because there's like three or four back at that lake. And of course, I don't want tier three hunting pressure, but... Yeah, it can be anywhere from, I would say, like three to seven males on these runs, maybe even eight males. But what we're going to do is head down to the last lake. We'll try to drop another male, and we might just try to quickly clear the hunting pressure with geese and then run this again. Oh, is that a male? That is a male. Barely. But I guess we should try to get him. Don't know if I'll be able to through some of the trees there, but I think we might have a little chance in this opening. I thought I just saw him. Maybe not. Where did he go? There he is. Alright. 
got a hit, but not enough. That's probably a flesh wound. Oh, and he's actually coming back up the hill. That's somewhat useful, I think. Well, if I had a different scope, it would be somewhat useful. He was almost dead anyway. I don't know if that was lumbar spine or just a random hit that was enough to take him down. But I wonder where that first hit was then. Maybe just a flesh wound, but I don't think a flesh wound straight would actually drop him. It was in testing the first time and then just got into like some random stuff in the back that was enough to bring him down, but at least another stag out of the way that could respond to something better. This last lake is kind of tough. It used to be a really good red deer spot for me. I actually had two red deer drinking zones, but as with the last one, they're roe deer zones now. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because I spotted roe deer there afterwards. It kind of seems like your zones can actually switch animals by what you spotted last. But generally, I do get some red deer up this hill, so we're just going to try to find anything there just to try to get other ones to spawn. Hey, that building style. Jeez. All right, we have a red deer coming at us. I have no... Oh, you're not bad. Level 7. You don't see anything. All right. That definitely shouldn't have worked, but it did. A 200 trophy rating, 862 gold level 7. I thought he was pretty big. He does, I think, maybe have the small level 8 rack. I'm not actually sure about that. Uh, but 217 kilograms, I think that is very close to the level 8 weight. But 10 meters away, we just had him. But as I was saying... They don't hang out around the lakeside anymore, but somewhere up here they are hanging out. And in fact, I should go see if there's a red deer zone here because I spooked a six as I was running through here. So I have to think they're hanging out somewhere. I'll just kind of wait. 207 wouldn't be a six. I think that's another seven. So we'll have to go see if we can find that. But I wonder if he came from a zone down here somewhere. Is that the 207? No, it can't be. Not when it's a level 4, but there's even another stag down here then. I don't know where they're hanging out. I haven't figured that out down at this lake. They usually used to be at those drinking zones, but there's got to be a rest zone or a feed zone somewhere because that's at least the third stag down here. Or the fourth, I guess, because that level 6, I think, is a different one than this 207 I'm tracking. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to let him spook because I don't have anything silent. And I'm pretty sure that 207 that we had a track from is probably not too far over here. Oh, got a rest zone. So is that where the other stags are coming from? There is some other tracks here. What's this? That's a 155 female. Looks like we did bust him out of here, but a 206 as well. Might have finally figured out where they're hanging out. Oh, and there's a 212 here. That's definitely a 7. That might be our guy right there. If I could spot him, I know that's a 7. The question is, is there actually two level 7s? Or is this the 207 track that we had? Either way, we need to drop the one level 7 that we know for sure is here. Because he has a higher chance of spawning as potentially a 8 or 9 next time. If he'll just step out from behind that tree for us. Not really like that, but can you just stop? There we go. Had to take a second. Can I actually get him quickly? Uh, if I could have spotted him, I might have been able to see where he went through the trees, but let's see then. 212 is not the one we shot, so this is like our 207, I would say. It is our 207, and he is a golden 807 gold, so we have one more that we have to drop, and then we'll go do our geese hunt to reset the hunting pressure here. All right, we finally caught up to this guy. At least I hope it's him. It does look like a level seven, so it should be. Can't really get him spotted, and he is kind of acting alert, so I don't need to spook him. I've spent at least 20 minutes tracking this guy just in the hopes that next time he spawns as an eight or a nine. Don't love that angle, though. That'll work, though. So what do we get on this entire run? I think four level sevens. Two level fours, we only shot one, and multiple level sixes, we only shot one of those. So an 837 gold for that guy, and we're going to go do our geese hunt and do the run again. And by the way, you can see I don't generate much hunting pressure. I'm only shooting red deer males through this area. The only other thing I would shoot is the diamond of another species if I see it. Otherwise, I'm letting it go, so that way I really don't got to shoot that many geese, and I'm set to go again. So this is the only geese hunting I'm going to show. The rest I'll just do 
and then we can continue with our red deer hunting but it's really all about just killing as many geese as possible and doing it quickly i think that's actually a brown hybrid but i'm just using 12 gauge buckshot i really don't care about integrity i just need to drop geese so i don't really mind if i'm not getting the integrity bonus how are you not dying there we go all right so that was like what four i think i'm gonna switch to the two two three here and see if i can get a few more should really have the Hyperion on for this. How am I missing that? There we go. Alright, so that's like six hit, I think. And, uh, that'll be like half of the pressure gone. And just like that, a nice clean slate to work on. So the obvious problem with this is consec. It's very easy to lose your consec by not uh, claiming all of the geese that you drop. But that took like five minutes and we're done. And there's the brown hybrid that I shot earlier. But uh, what we're going to do is basically cycle the time three days, which is one of Jack Sevier's tactics. Uh, and that seems to kind of help your spawns out a little more. Uh, with the animals that you shot respawning and then i'm also going to end the game entirely quit the desktop and then come back just to be sure everything has spawned back in and in case you don't know what i'm talking about when i say cycle the time three days basically we're just going to go back one minute rest back one minute rest and back one more minute and rest and then i'm going to change the time to what i want it to be which is going to be 7 a.m and what i'm actually going to do i said i'm going to end the session here go out to desktop and come back in i'm going to do that and then i'm going to goose hunt quickly and shoot like three geese because i could not find one of them and i know i won't have consec so we got to have that up first but all of that we will save for next time because i just realized how long this video is already going to be before we do another run so i'll do the next run tomorrow we might even do like a run, do another goose hunt pressure relief, and do a second run in the next video, because now that I've kind of explained it, it'll be pretty straightforward just doing the run. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video. It is very much appreciated, and I will see you next time.